Hello everyone, I'm John and I'm here today to show you how to set up Hoopla, Overdrive, Frieden, and Freegal on your mobile Windows 10 based device. For this demonstration, I am using an HP Omni Windows tablet that has Windows 10 installed on it. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is click on the Internet Explorer icon. On this tablet, the icon happens to be right down here. The first service I'm going to show you is Hoopla which contains audiobooks and streaming video, such as movies, television shows, and documentaries. When I open up Internet Explorer on this tablet, it takes me right to the Bing homepage, but you can use whatever search engine you like. Go ahead and type into the search bar Hoopla to find their website, or you can go directly to the site by typing in hoopladigital.com into the browser. Now you'll see the Hoopla website. Click on Login to create an account. This is your first time using the service. Since you are new to Hoopla, click on the Sign Up Now button. Next, choose your library from the list, which is the Rahway Public Library, and click on it. Enter your email address, then create a password for your new Hoopla account. Get out your Rahway Public Library card and enter the barcode number found in the back of your library card. To proceed, you are going to have to know the password on your Raleigh Public Library account. Here it is called the PIN number. If you know this password, enter it here, and if not, no worries. Just give the library a ring at 732-340-1551, and a staff member can help you reset it, or you can stop by the library in person as well. After you typed in all the needed information, hit the Sign Up Now button. Once you set up your account, you will see the Hoopla welcome page. Just click on the Browse Titles button to begin looking for your next favorite audiobook or video. You will now see the Hoopla main page where items you have checked out will appear at the top. Currently, this is empty since you do not have any, so let's borrow one. Hoopla contains audiobooks and streaming video such as movies, television shows, and documentaries. I see one already that catches my eye. It's the audiobook NPR's Funniest Driveway Moments. Clicking on it will take you to the screen you see here where you can read more about the item. To borrow the audiobook, click on the Borrow button, or you can also add it to your list of favorites. If you want to play the audiobook right away, click on the Play button. If you want to go back and keep browsing, hit the Back button on your web browser up top. If you click on play, the audiobook will begin playing as you see in the image here. If you click on the back arrow, you will see the audiobook listed within your My Titles. To play it, all you have to do is click on it and it will open up within Hoopla. Simple, right? Hoopla contains audiobooks and streaming videos such as movies, television shows, and documentaries. You can borrow audiobooks for 21 days and streaming videos for 3 days. After the end of the borrowing period, the item will be deleted from your My Titles list. There is a monthly limit of 10 items, which resets at the beginning of each month. Now let's check out Overdrive, where you can borrow audiobooks and ebooks for free. You can find the app directly in the Windows App Store. So let's click on the app icon uh, located here at the bottom of the screen. Next, Type Overdrive into the search box. The Overdrive app should come right up. Click on Install and the app will begin downloading. When it is done, click on Open. Since this is your first time using the service, click on Sign Up. Once you see this screen, click on Sign Up using a library card to begin the process of connecting your Rahway library card to your Overdrive account. Navigate over to where it says Add a Library and click on the plus sign. Next, select the Rahway Public Library from the list of options. Now, select eLibrary NJ, since this is the name of the cooperative program that grants us access to OverDrive. After that, you will see the home screen. Click on where it says Sign In. You need to select your local library one more time 
So click on Select Library and choose Raleigh Public Library from the drop-down menu. I know this all may seem like a pain, but you only have to do it once and I promise it is worth it. Get out your Raleigh Public Library card and enter the barcode number found in the back of your library card. To proceed, you're going to have to know the password on your Raleigh Public Library account. If you know this password, enter it here, and if not, no worries. Just give the library a ring at 732-340-1551, and a staff member can help you reset it, or you can stop by the library in person as well. After you typed in all the needed information, hit the Sign In button. Your account is now all set up. Hooray! You will now see the home page of the OverDrive app. Here you can browse and search for audiobooks and ebooks. I want to walk you through the process of borrowing a title with an OverDrive, which is easy, I promise. Click on the menu option to see all the various ways to browse for titles. For this demonstration, let's check out the new ebook section. Let's have a look at this title here by George R. R. Martin. When you click on the title, you will see a brief description of the ebook. Click on Borrow to Rent the Title. The title will open up within the OverDrive app, as seen here on the screen. If you'd like to go back and find more great ebooks and audiobooks, hit the back arrow button. Go ahead and explore OverDrive. I hope you find something good. You can find audiobooks and ebooks in OverDrive, and you can check out five items at one time. Some items may have a waiting list, and you will have to put a hold on the title. You can borrow an item for two weeks after the due date, it will be automatically deleted from your device. Now, let's take a look at Freedon, which contains ebooks. Let's open up Internet Explorer to begin. When I open up Internet Explorer on this tablet, it takes me right to the Bing homepage, but you can use whatever search engine you like. Go ahead and type into the search bar Freedon to find their website, or you can go directly to the site by typing in www.freedon.com into the browser. From the Freedon homepage, click on the login button to begin the sign up process. Then enter either the name of the library, Raleigh Public Library, or the zip code 07065 and click on Find Library. You will now see a list of libraries to choose from. Scroll, that, scroll down to, the, to find the Raleigh Public Library and click on it. Next, enter your library card barcode number, which is found in the back of your library card. Enter your PIN, which is the password set on your Raleigh Public Library account. If you do not remember this password, give the library a ring at 732-340-1551, or stop by in person to reset it. After you enter the PIN number, hit Login. Click on Accept after going over the Terms of Agreement. Now you can start exploring what ebooks Freedon has to offer. Your weekly limit is three ebooks, however, any unused rentals rolls over to the next week and keeps doing so until the end of the month when it resets back to three. I'm going to now click on Top Downloads to browse for some ebooks. Hmm, this title sounds interesting Creating Your Best Life. Let's click on that one. When you do, you will see a description of the item. To download the ebook, click on Download EPUB. Next, to open the ebook, click on Open. Here in Windows 10, if you download and open an ebook that you borrowed within Freedon, it actually opens up in the OverDrive app that I showed you how to install and use in the last segment of this video. That means if you want to use Freedon on your Windows 10 based mobile device, you first need to download the OverDrive app and create an OverDrive account. This may sound a bit confusing, but it actually makes it easier this way since here you have your Freedon and OverDrive rentals all in the same place. So to remind you, Freedon contains ebooks that can be borrowed for a two week period and you can check out three items per week. Unused rentals roll over to the next week and begins again at three per week at the start of a new month. When an ebook reaches its due date, it is automatically deleted from your device. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to use Freegal, where you can find streaming music. Let's again open up Internet Explorer to begin. When I open up Internet Explorer in this tablet, it takes me right to the Bing homepage. 
but you can use whatever search engine you like. Go ahead and type into the search bar Freegal to find their website, or you can go directly to the site by typing in www.freegalmusic.com into the browser. From the home screen, click on Login to begin the sign-up process. Here, enter either the name of the library, Raleigh Public Library, or the zip code 07065 and click on Find Library. You should see the name of the library in the list of return results. Click on it when you do. To create an account, you're going to need your library card barcode number, which is found on the back of your card. You're also going to need to know the password on your library account. Here it is called a PIN. If you do not know what this password is, you can give the library a ring at 732-340-1551 or stop by in person to reset the password. After you enter all the needed information, click on Login. After that, you will see a few pop-up windows displaying the Freegal user agreement terms. When you see this, just click on Accept or OK. Now you can start looking for music within Freegal. I want to show you how to begin streaming music, so let's check out this Van Morrison album up here on top. When you click on an item, you will see more information about it. You can click on the play button next to each song to play a certain song. You can stream music for three hours per day, and you can also download three songs per week as well. So if you really like the song and want to download it, hit the plus button next to the song. You can also create a streaming playlist of songs within Freegal or listen to a built-in playlist. To do that, click on the playlist option on the left-hand side. Great, all done. If you have any questions on how to use Hoopla, Overdrive, Freedom, and Freegal on your mobile Windows device with Windows 10 installed, please free feel, feel free to call the library or stop on by. If you're coming in person, please bring your device with you so we can have a look at it together. Hope you enjoy these wonderful free services.